Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 9th through the 15th. And I'll, um, I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with uh, a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can watch all the info about it in the description box below if you want. Let's see. Saggy. the overall energy for the reading the queen of pentacles there's a lot of self-care a lot of self-nurture in this reading uh which feels good so in the recent past you get the six of swords the eight of pentacles the page of pentacles i feel like you started something maybe learning about something new there's definitely a sense of i'm building something here this is the beginning of me putting something together but i see you there's no but. I, I see you kind of taking a step back at some point, recognizing that, huh, maybe I need a break. Maybe I took this in force, like I, I'm going to do this, nothing's going to stop me. And it, you might have gotten to a point of possible exhaustion, possibly like I, I need a break from this. I need to pull back away a little. Uh, I don't see you giving up on this. I just see you kind of pulling back a little. In the current situation, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Wands. You're looking for happiness here and there's definitely talk there's definitely action being taken in that direction there could be traveling here but there's definitely a sense of let's see where i can find my happiness you know um in the immediate future the ten of swords the queen of wands the seven of pentacles uh, <laughs> kind of interesting how it all comes together because i see they're stepping back from something you're working on on a personal level on a material world level then taking this break and kind of expanding to see if you can find love out there. I'll kind of taking that breath to see, huh, is there anything new popping up? No. Okay, let's go back to it kind of thing. That's what comes in in the immediate future of, yeah, I didn't find anything. So let me go back to what I was working on. You know? Kind of feels like that. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Page of Wands, the Fool, the Hangman. There is a situation in which you would want to jump for it, take a chance, you know? Uh, but you're not doing it. You're kind of standing by. That's something. And it doesn't have to be love here. It could be traveling someplace new or um, just going for something, you know, being spontaneous and doing something like that um, during this time of self-work. It, it, there's an energy that comes up for you of, let's be more spontaneous. Let's do this or that or whatever the case here, you know. There's definitely a sense of um, desire to be more in the moment, more let's go for it. Uh, you're not doing it yet with the hangman. Let me see that six of swords in the recent past. Seven of swords, ace of wands, page of cups. Something got your attention more than anything in that department. So you were definitely working towards something. And then something caught your attention to the side there, right? Um, maybe you got distracted. Maybe you got sidetracked here. Maybe you got like, okay. This is good. It's all working out. But that really intrigues me. I really want to go in that direction over there. Which I don't know what that direction is. But I see it speaking to your heart here. You know, to your passion more than anything. Um, so there is a sense of almost abandoning what you're working for to go in this direction. Almost. Maybe in the moment it felt like, okay, I got bored with this. Let's go here. You know? Um, let's do the Seven of Cups in the current situation. All these pages, very interesting. And I'm not feeling it like, oh my God, Sagi, what are you doing? I'm feeling it like 
you're kind of placing yourself in this energy of the pages, which is uh, somebody that not necessarily starts from scratch, but somebody that's willing to learn, open to learn all the time, basically. So that, that's kind of a good energy here. Um, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Six of Cups for the Seven of Cups. You're searching. You're in search for a soulmate. You're in search for that person that matches you vibrationally, energetically, physically, whatever you want to call it, however way you want to look at it. And I feel like you're almost learning where to look, you know? And you're giving yourself time. It's not like you're jumping into, oh, let's try this one. Let's try this one. This one doesn't like, eh, it's okay. Let, let me try this one. No, it doesn't look like that. Um, it's like a search of your soul, basically. From soul to soul. Let's do the Ten of Cups. Four of Swords, Eight of Wands, the Temperance Cards. There is something here. There is something that's popping up that feels good here to you. Ah, uh, and it's looking like it's healing. It's looking like it's good for you. It's looking like it has the potential for happiness. Um, it's good for you. I don't know what this is that's showing up here. Something that you also recognize. Yeah, it is. It's good. Uh, so it could be that something new is starting to form or I don't know. Let's do the Eight of Wands. In the current situation, Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords. You are looking like you're you're following your gut here in this situation. What's up with this Nine of Swords here? On this path here of looking, of finding even, uh you're carrying a sense of pain in this you're carrying something here that to be honest when i look at the overall picture here i don't see it matching i don't see it fitting but it's yours you're bringing it in um it almost feels like you're setting yourself up for it and the Nine of Swords represents um, pain, overthinking. Everything else looks like it's in flow. And then bam, comes this Nine of Swords, which is attached to you. Let me see the Ten of Swords in the immediate future. Five of Cups, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups. It may have started during a major, major disappointment that something didn't work out between you and another person. Uh, so even though you are more and more open to let's find this new sense of being, sense of loving, sense, basically, um, you're still carrying this load of disappointment and pain tied up to a situation that didn't work out in the past. So that might be the energy you're carrying with you here. To the Queen of Wands in the immediate future. Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. Yeah, there's that regret of it should have happened. It should have happened then and there. Now I have to look over like this happy notion, this happily ever after notion. I have to start looking it over and over again because it didn't happen then. So there's there's this hanging on to should have to it didn't it carries resentment because it didn't happen and it carries resentment because you have to do it all over again look for happiness when you had it right here or at least you thought you had it tied up to another person here so that's the um, energy that's popping up here uh as kind of being with you i don't see it being in the way completely but it could be at some point if you allow it for now it's not looking like it's in the way of your new efforts to find happiness let's do the seven of pentacles in the immediate future the moon the devil the knight of swords it's your approach the way you approach things the way you interpret things the way you go about things 
the way you take action towards things. There's something in there. Uh, the way you put things together, the way you understand things. There's something in there that you're working on. There's something in there that might have been damaging to you. Self-sabotaging, self-deceptive. Uh, there's in the way that you go about doing things, especially. There's an energy here that's not looking pretty attached to that. And it's in your shadow side here, definitely. But I do see you working on it. I do see you working on it and not letting it interfere anymore. Maybe it did in the past to the point of you not even acknowledging it, let alone doing something about it. It could be coming back up again because I see it growing a little bit in the immediate future, but I like how your reading ends because it ends with you working on this energy. So you're not just letting it show up and being like, oh my God, my life is going downhill. What do I do? No, you're kind of recognizing, okay, there's something here. There's something here that keeps popping up for me. How do I work with it? How, you know, there, there's this energy that wants to work with this right now. So it feels good. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Four of swords, three of swords, three of pentacles. Yeah. Um, you're kind of still trying to work on this painful situation that popped up for you. Something ended. It could have been a friendship. It could have been, it's something meaningful to you. Otherwise it wouldn't have affected you, right? So that ending of that situation might've caused a lot of pain. Now, I don't know if it ended completely where this person is out of your life. It could have, but you're still healing that aspect. So that's good. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.